Hi everyone, I'm going to show you a damselfly pattern uh, that I tie. Uh, a number of years back Jack Dennis spoke of UV reflectiveness actually being emitted by I believe he was talking about Calabatus nymphs and if that's possible for Calabatus mayfly nymphs I was wondering why would it not be possible for other lake patterns uh, such as lake insects such as damselflies. Uh, so with that in mind I started experimenting with uh, the UV Pertagon material that we generally associate with Pertagon nymphs and thought there is, has to be an application for it on uh, dry flies or on damselfly nymphs as well in lake scenarios. So what I've done is I've mounted a, a BL Hens 724 which is a 1x strong hook in a size 10 and I just start the fly pattern with some either a fluorobrite thread or a light olive thread just in behind the hook eye uh, slightly, just start it slightly back of it and work with progressing turns moving down the hook shank. When you get about halfway down the hook shank I cut off my tag end and I get ready to add in my tail. And in this case I like a lot of the blue pheasant rumps. Um, and I try to tie in maybe a half a dozen fibers. Um, damselflies don't have super thick tails. They have three little paddle shaped tails in the back and they're kind of short. So we don't want to make don't want to make the tails too too long. So again I'll just start with the thread, lay in the tail, and then continue on with touching turns moving down the hook shank. And once we're at the back, I'll keep my open my thread back up again and then start building a second layer. Moving with my touching turns moving forward. And now I'll terminate my tail butt sections and utilize the butt sections as a bit of an underlayer to start building the taper or assist in building the taper on the pattern.